never know what Tim Becker is going to find in life at large. And today he is not disappointing. You're about to meet some real life superheroes. And yes, they do wear costumes, but they don't fly or have special powers. Just a deep desire to help the homeless. Meet the heroic hazmat. It's a state of being for me. With a Ninja Turtle-like look. All right. Kevlar line gloves. The costume gets attention to what we're doing. And a trusty cohort named the Rev. We need to give them high calorie, high protein stuff. Get some sugar into these guys too. Loaded with candy, sandwiches, ponchos, and dry socks from the trunk of a custom color matched car. We, well, I wanted a, a, a Batmobile, but since they're, you know, $100,000, we figured we'd, we'd pick up an old uh, uh, Ford. The two masked men hit the streets and the alleys to find and to help Salem's homeless on a rainy fall night. Doesn't take long at all. How about clean socks, bud? You need anything? Stay dry, brother. God bless. If we can do just a little bit to help people that are suffering, I mean, why, why wouldn't we? You guys hungry? Yeah. Who needed the poncho? You already gave me one. And I went over and got my buddies to tell me you guys were here. Good. So, yeah. Good. <laughs> when they're around, word travels fast. We went out that first time, and within 10 minutes of meeting, we were on the street, you know, helping the people we could help. They're not superhuman, just super kind. It's just a simple piece of candy and stuff can change a person's day. Just somebody being real nice to you yeah. can just change a person's day. What's your name? I'm Haz. What's yours? Hey, Joe. Hazmat's real name is Jeff Bronson. One of the things we do is shake hands, ask people their names, repeat their names to them, let them know that, that they are people. Because sometimes a little bit of compassion is way better than a sandwich or a pair of socks. The Rev, a.k.a. Steve Naylor, speaks from experience, once homeless himself. I remember going days without ever talking to anybody. And if somebody in a crazy superhero costume would have come up and talked to me and hand me a pair of socks and a sandwich, it would have made my week. Anymore, now it's kind of easy because they spot us. They don't judge, they just give. And that's cool, everybody should. From the bottom of their hearts and mostly their own pockets, using quirky eye-catching costumes to simply do the right thing and turn up the visual volume on a problem that's all too common. This is my city and I love it here and I want to do anything I can to make it a little bit better, even if it's just a little bit. Reporting for you in Salem, Tim Becker, Coin Local 6. That's pretty cool stuff. The uh, superheroes say the costumes help raise awareness and direct mm -hmm. attention to the homeless problem. And when they're not making the rounds, Hazmat works in the security business and the Rev works in construction. Mm, great program. Mm -hmm.